Hey everybody, so um good morning to you. It's one for me. But um I'm reading this uh uh what is it? This uh I'm on this channel and they were reporting how young Miami wrote I love this nigga down to the veins in his D. And um they're assuming it's about Diddy, but I'm like, how I know it's about Diddy? Like Young Miami was on her show Carisha Police and um I enjoyed the show when she did with Megan the Stallion. And she was talking about how she had a dude. She was talking about dudes that she's been with. So Diddy's not the only dude that she's been with. So it's like, who knows if she's talking about Diddy? She probably not talking about Diddy. Like, she probably not talking about him. But, you know, her being slow, she probably is talking about Diddy. But she didn't say no name. So I don't know. You can't assume that she's talking about Diddy. Everybody's thinking that she's talking about Diddy. But the thing is that you don't know these celebrities, who they be messing with on the low she's single you know now she's saying she's single you know what's crazy the thing about young miami is this is the thing young miami the problem with her is that she came out thinking that she was a city girl and she thought that she was going to be able to change him and make him wife her diddy was like no you thought diddy made it clear i'm single I'm dating, meaning I'm dating all these women and you're a friend. So he didn't even say I'm dating as in I'm exclusively dating you and I'm working on a relationship maybe <clears throat> with you. He was saying, basically, I see you as a friend. When a dude says that, he's friend zoned you like he don't want you. He's basically saying, like, we having sex, friends with benefits. You got a show. You making my money, but you're not going to be my girlfriend. You're not that to me. And so. A lot of times, so basically it's like he let her know on national TV what it was. And then she still pursu she still decided to chase him by doing the Go Poppy at his Lifetime Achievement Award, looking crazy. Um, and then he acknowledged his ex, Cassie, dissed her. Then, um, like, every other week he's with a different girl on the yacht. She's thinking he just got done with her. Then he gets on a yacht with his friends being pictured with different girls, okay with the paparazzi ca catching him with different girls, but he's hiding her. Like, they in Italy, you don't even know they're in Italy together because he's making sure that he's not caught with her in photos or videos. If anything is ever posted, she's posting, he's never posting. Posting, And I had said before that out of all the girls, you know, Miami is the bottom of the barrel because he don't, he really, really sees her as the lowest of the low and you know miami she was popping at other girls like she was stalking joy by bow wow's baby mother and future's baby mother like she dressed as joy for halloween that's how you know something I, that's how i knew something was wrong with her because joy was messing with with um diddy and he was publicly affectionate with her on the yacht laying on top of her kissing her everything you have never seen diddy like that with carisha like publicly out there, just out there, knowing paparazzi was gonna catch it. He didn't care because Joy is polished to him. Like all these girls that he's ever shown off, or all these girls he's allowed himself to be public with, are very polished women. They're like women that he feels like personally. He feels like I don't mind being seen with them. They're a good look to him. Miami is not a good look. She's hood. She's slow. And, you know, she's desperate. It's like men don't like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, she basically came in thinking, I'm a, I'm a city girl. I'm from the bag, you know, um, Diddy or whatever. And Diddy basically embarrassed her because he showed her, like, I meant it when I said I'm single. I don't want you. And, like, from day one, he let it be known. And he treated her just like that as a friend. Like, won't ever, ever take no, no pictures with her, like, to be seen with her like it's always awkward like she's all the way in the back he's in the front and if he's next to her it's like he not even next to her. he's trying to walk away like he trying to play cool like i'm not with this girl she's just here she's like a, she's just there like but then it's like on the boat with joy he's all over her so anywho guys just backtrack joy that was the girl that diddy came out with and was basically dealing with, and he, and he was on a yacht with her, and he was publicly out with her, and um, you know, then young Miami to one up her, she got Diddy to spend a hundred k, shopping spree on her, and nobody knew 
that it was Diddy though. He he was not publicly out there with her. Like how he was with Joy, he was not publicly out there. He was basically giving her money to like, you know, shut her up or whatever the case may be. And she was bragging about it. But it's like the dude is not claiming you though. He's not even out there letting paparazzi catch pictures of y'all being affectionate. This dude is not into you like that, sweetheart. And so, um, then it's like Joy, because she's messing with Diddy, Diddy threw Joy a birthday party. So Joy basically, he threw her a birthday party and was at her birthday party and it was public and everybody saw it. So he basically is out there publicly with Joy, no problem. He not like that with Miami. So Miami on Halloween, she took one of Joy's outfits and dressed up, dressed her up, dressed herself up as Joy for Halloween. So it was like a number five orange shirt. And I was like, man, Miami got me messed up. If I was Joy, I would have clocked Miami out so mother freaking bad. Like, I already know that I got the upper hand. He's not claiming you. He's out there more with me. So if I want to hold on to him and if I want to deal with him, I definitely can crap on you. Like, I, Joy was just classy about it. She did not pay Miami no mind because she's a bird. So Joy was like, whatever, like, I don't care. And then only for her to do all of that, only for only for Diddy to call Joy to be the main girl in his song, um, in his video, Gotta Move On. Carisha's desperate. So she, so she had like, you know, Diddy play her voice in the beginning of the song or whatever. But the main girl in the video was Joy. So you, you spent all that time dressing up as her, trying to bully her. That's bullying. That's Because you dressing up as her, you're bullying her. So only for him to call her to be the lead girl in his video. What could you do? You look stupid. Like Diddy kept on making her look stupid. And it's like he's with her and then it's like in private and in secret. But then he publicly goes out on yachts with Jesse May with Asian girls and he's sitting with all his homeboys with this with this girl. And then he's out publicly with another girl having dinner or whatever. And young Miami he's keeping her hidden and people gotta match body parts. Like, oh, that's his arm. Oh, that's her leg. They together. Like you could never ever Ever, like really get a solid picture with them together like him really like repping her like you know just really really claiming her claiming her then it's like capri italy okay they matching body parts taking no pictures together but then next thing you know he with drea on the boat and he's all up in drea videos he's all up you know and Dre and him had a thing back in the day. And back in the day, he was he had Drea on his story. And I saw that story. And Drea basically, now, when she was in Capri, Italy with Diddy, you know, he was basically comfortable with being seen with her. He was on her videos. He was just out there. Like, he was just out there with it. And um, Young Miami don't get the same energy. So it's like early on, her fans, they were gassing her like, oh, yeah, she got him. And it's like, now everybody look dumb. Now on Megan Thee Stallion, um, the Carisha Police show, she was like, oh, Megan was like, oh, um, she said something about, oh, you got a dude or whatever the case may be. And she was like, who? I'm single. Oh, but I thought y'all went together real bad. Also, because he's been making you look stupid and because he's been telling you y'all don't go together by his actions. Now you want to backpedal and say, oh, no, I'm single. People be like, oh, you said this, that, and the third, but I was just playing. Like, she basically trying to backpedal because he made her look dumb. Like, that's what happens when you're too cocky. Then she's popping at Gina. Gina is Diddy's long-term girl when he was with Cassie. The girl posted pictures of her and Diddy, and Carisha popped at the girl as if she was somebody's girlfriend. Like, she popped at Gina like she was Diddy's girl. And it's like everybody, anybody with sense could see that Carisha really wanted that dude more than just, like, a bag. But people trying to cape for her and save for her, her face and say, oh, you know, she know what she doing. She It's for a bag. No, sweetheart. No, she really, 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 you know, want to be with this dude. For whatever reason, she wants to be with him. She takes him more serious than he does her, and he basically is playing her like a like a like a PS Five. So she ain't say no names. They're assuming it's Diddy, but I don't I, I don't blame them for assuming it's Diddy because she's retarded like that. Like she's the type of girl. Let me tell you what type of girl Carisha is. Carisha is very clear that she's like a fatal attraction, and and she's very clear. It's very clear that 
She likes being mistreated and rejected because that's all she's used to. When a woman is mistreated and rejected all her life, when a dude mistreats and rejects her, she feels like that's what she deserves. And so she clings to him and chases after him. Like, you know, girls that chase after dudes that don't like them or mistreat them. It's because that's all they're used to. So they're going to stick to what they know. And then they got low self-esteem. So it's like they're going to, they're they're on a continuous pursuit to try to prove they're worth it. And they're trying to validate themselves. They're trying to get this dude to take them seriously because they want to validate themselves through the dude. It's like, okay, if he treat me like I'm not worth it, that means I'm not worth it. So she's now trying to continuously prove that she is. So it's like low self-esteem, being used to being treated like crap, chasing after this dude because that's what she's familiar with, being mistreated. And so it's like, it's sad because people don't know, like, these are the deep rooted issues that women have that make women allow themselves to be treated like this. She associates disrespect and mistreatment with love. She associates being dogged out and being embarrassed publicly with love. And she basically doesn't have a self-esteem no matter how much she pops her ish. She don't have a self-esteem because what woman with a self-esteem would deal with this? Like what woman would sit up there and take this man seriously and like pop at other females for him as if you his girl and he told you you're not his girl. Like, what are you doing? So it's like if a she's the type of girl, if a dude treats her like a like royalty, like a princess, like I remember when her baby daddy stopped side, when he used to like when he, he claimed her, he flew her out on jets. He really like claimed that he did way better than Diddy. Like he claimed her and she treated him like complete garbage. But Diddy don't want her and treats her like garbage. And that's who she's in love with. That's what I'm saying. It's sad. Females, you get treated like royalty. Females that are damaged. Females that don't know what love is, females that think disrespect is love, and females that are delusional and think that a man mistreating them is love is going to dog the dude that treats them right to be with the dude that dogs them out because being dogged out is all they know. They're gonna go they're gonna chase after the dude dogging them out because they feel like deep down that's what they deserve. That's all they know. And then in self-esteem wise, they're basically trying to chase them too to try to validate and prove that they are worth it. Your validation should never come from a man. You should never put your self-worth or your self-esteem next to a man. You should never attach it to a man. Because if she was smart and high in self-esteem, she would see it ain't me. He treats all these girls like this. Look at how he did Cassie. It's not me. It's him. He got the commitment issues. It's not me. But the thing is, is that when a woman is very cocky, but really low, low in self-esteem and when a woman doesn't have a lot of self-love, this is the things that she do. She does. These are the type of dudes she chases, dudes that don't care for her because she don't care about herself. OK, that's the that's pretty much, you know, what it is. And it's like I read a comment the other day. They were like, oh, she can't believe that Diddy don't want her. So she keep chasing him. Exactly. When a woman basically has a big ego, right? But she's still insecure deep down, but she has a big ego and a dude deep completely pops that ego and basically lets her know you're not that girl. I'm I'm messing with this girl, that girl, this girl, that girl. You're just one of the many. When she sees him treating her like that, it drives her crazy. Like, damn, I can't believe he don't want me like that. Damn, I can't believe he treating me like the rest. Damn, I'm just a basic to him. Damn, I'm like nothing to him. She can't believe it. So now she's like continuously on his penis trying to prove a point. And it's like, baby, you're going to die trying to prove that Diddy love you or care about you because he never is. And it's like, this is a lesson for young ladies out there. If a dude mistreats you and if a dude is treating you like one of the many, if he got many chicks and he's rotating you, he don't love you. He don't care about you. He don't respect you. If a dude does not want to be seen with you, if a dude does not really claim you, and if he letting you know from jump, you're a friend, he's screwing you, but you're a friend to him. That lets you know right there, he doesn't take you seriously at all. You're just an F buddy, basically. So when you see that, that's your cue to go. It's either you go or you, oh, you're you okay with that and you play your role. But Carisha's not playing her role. Carisha is trying to be something she's not. And it's because she cannot get over the fact that he don't want her. Because she basically thought that she had him in the bag. And he literally hopped out the bag and was like, you thought, but no. Okay, I'm out here doing my living my life, doing me. If you want to live this life with me, live it. But if you think I'm going to take you serious, sweetheart, go cry a river, go cry on your pillow because it's not happening. Puff not doing it. So 
it's like you know that's pretty much what you, that's what it's given it's given desperate it's given low self esteem it's given like you know I ain't never been treated right in my life I ain't had no daddy in my life so a, a dude treating me like complete crap is normal to me that's what I'm gonna put up with because I just I feel like I deserve it low key and oh I'm gonna validate myself like I'm gonna prove to him that I'm worth it and it's like if you really loved yourself you wouldn't have to prove to no dude that you worth it why you letting these dudes play with y'all like that why is she letting this dude play with her like that? You a city girl, right? You got money. Why would you let this old man play you like this? You know what I'm saying? But like I said, when people don't love themselves, it don't matter whether you're a celebrity or not. You can be broken. You can be low in self-esteem, whether you're a celebrity or not. Because at the end of the day, these celebrities are human, just like us. So just how Josh or Barbara or Tiana, that's not a celebrity, got low self-esteem and in therapy. Carisha, she's a celebrity, but she got the same issues. It's just that she's rich. That's the only thing. And money cannot make you grow a self-esteem or buy you one. Okay. The girl needs therapy genuinely. And people will come under my comments and be like, Oh, you hate on young Miami. Hating on what? Hating on a girl that thinks that disrespect is love. That's sad. I feel bad for her. And I feel bad for all the other people that think that's okay and support this because that shows that y'all don't love yourselves. You feel me? That shows that y'all have a bad relationship with yourselves. Because if y'all had good relationships with yourselves and if y'all truly loved yourselves, y'all would have been like, yeah, that's not a good look. You could have kept that to yourself since you could have wrote that in your diary. You could have went to Walmart and bought you a diary for twelve ninety nine, and you could have wrote down your feelings. Oh, I love this man. But you you should have never came out in public and put that out there because you, you look crazy. She didn't say no names. But if it is Diddy that she's talking about, which is highly likely, then I don't know what to tell you. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. She cannot get over the fact that he don't want her. Like, she cannot get over that fact. And she's going to keep chasing him until she gets something she's never going to get. But the lesson is, ladies, love yourself. Do not attach your self-worth to a man. That way you won't, you won't feel like you need to validate yourself through him. And do not chase after people who mistreat you or disrespect you because you're, you deserve more. And regardless of what you were taught as a child, you might have been taught that you weren't worth it, but you are worth it. Don't let nobody treat you like you're worthless, like Diddy treats Carisha, okay? And it's like, that's embarrassing. All sis had to do was just focus on her bag from Revolt TV, you know, make this money, be business partners, do not let him sleep with you. Like if you did it, okay, but if you see where he's going with it, no more, cut him off and keep that revolt going and, you know, make him money, you make money and you call it a day. But all this catching feelings, no. They're, they're like, oh, she's a city girl. She know what she's doing. No, the fuck she don't. Look at what she's posting. Okay, it's highly likely about Diddy. She said no names, but it's highly likely about him because she wants every girl wants the dude that she can't have. And that's sad. People want what they can't have. If a dude rejects a female, a, the female is like, why, why don't he want me? And so she now is chasing after him more and more and more. And it's like because you got a low self-esteem because you really feel like, you know, you deserve that mistreatment. That's why you chasing after this man. Like, if you loved yourself, you would be like, oh, no, I'm I'm it. I'm that girl. I'm not going to let him treat me like this. Is you serious? I'm I'm young Miami. I'm Carisha. <laughs> a nigga could never. It don't matter if he got a gazillion, gabillion dollars in the bank. I don't care. He could have all of that in the bank. He could never treat me like I'm a regular, like I'm a basic, like I'm a revolving door. See me Tuesday. See Jesse May Thursday. See Cassie Friday. See, you know, like, no. So the lesson is love yourselves. Have self-worth, have self-esteem. Whatever you were taught as a child, if you were taught you were worthless, that's not true. Go to therapy, fix that. Because if you don't, you'll be out here looking stupid like Carisha. And I really feel bad for her because it's like, I already see she got deeper issues. And it's like, bro, somebody needs to save her. And somebody needs to, you know, give her some type of advice or give her some type of like, where's JT? Like, give her some type of... But JT in, the, in a whole messed up relationship herself. It don't matter how committed her and Uzi look, Uzi cheating left and right. Like, you know, it. They, you know, they all messed up. But, like, I wish she would have a friend that would tell her, like, if, if I had a young Miami as a friend, I would be like, sis, I would sit her down very seriously and let her know everything I'm telling y'all now. 
this man don't love you. You chasing after him because you want to be accepted and you want to, you want to be validated. You 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 you're linking your self worth to him because he's treating you however you feel like it's you. But he's doing this to every girl, so it's not you. Why are you chasing this man? You believe you're not worth it because that's why you keep after him because he's treating you like crap. You believe you deserve crap, okay? From a little girl, now you chasing after a dude. And you thinking that mistreatment is love because that's all you're used to. Well, it's not. It's not. Love is kind. Love, love is committed. Love is patient. Love is beautiful. It's not this. You know what I'm saying? It's sad. It's really sad. It's really, really sad, y'all. But that's all I could say about, um, you know, they say, oh, young Miami confessed her love on the podcast for Megan Thee Stallion as well. No, she didn't. She said that she never said she loved Megan Thee Stallion. Yeah, but um, like I said, we don't know. We don't know specifically if she's talking about Diddy or whatever the case may be. Um, look at this dummy. I think he has feelings for her too, but he definitely did. See what I'm talking about? Do you see how dumb people are? Do you see the society we live in? These people are saying he has feelings for her too. After they see all the disrespect, he throws her away. Wow. After all. The disrespect he throws her way, you call that feelings? Y'all don't love yourselves. It baffles me. This is sad. mistreatment and disrespect is the love to y'all yeah it's so sad <laughs> like think this is crazy like what girl don't nobody with They be like, oh, you wish you was in Miami shoes. Don't nobody wish to be rejected and disrespected. Mistreated and be one of the billion he F. Don't nobody want to be fucking a dude who calls her a friend. Who calls them a friend. Y'all self-esteem beneath the ground. Love y'all selves. Go find y'all daddies for real. I'm over here just writing comments on um, y'all. Just the last comment. But anywho. Yeah, guys. So, yeah, like, you know. Yeah, that's what I... That, those are my thoughts on it. You know, um, it's, like, sick. It's sickening. And I said she was a fatal attraction. And y'all was, like, people... People... A lot of people agree with me. And you got some people that are, like, you know... They're, like, you know, just as low in self-esteem as her. And they, like, you know... They, they cape for her. And they, like, come to her defense. Like, they're okay with, like, they come to the defense of a woman that's being disrespected and mistreated 
um, they like that because, you know, they, they, they had no daddies in their life. And also, um, they get disrespected daily by their dudes, you know, dudes that don't claim them, dudes that just fuck them and leave them, dudes that just make them a baby mama and not a wife. Like these are the girls, these are the birds that, you know, support young Miami. So of course they're going to support, you know, young Miami, but women like myself, women, real women, we know that this right here is very sad. This right here is a woman that needs therapy bad. This right here is a woman that doesn't have an ounce of self-love. This right here is a woman that is broken. And I remember on a live when I used to mess with the city girls, young Miami admitted I'm damaged because her mom went to jail very when she was very young. Her dad was in and out of her life. So that's why she's like this, because she didn't have that love from when she was a child. She was missing her mom her whole freaking life. Her mom just got out of jail. Imagine you not having your mother's love and then your daddy, your daddy, he's he a street nigga like... He just out here in Miami, he a street nigga, like he's there, but he's not there to really rear you into the right direction. He a street nigga from Miami running the streets, you know, having a ball and just, you know, doing him. You know what I'm saying? He's he's in and out, like I said, but he's not fully there how he was, how a father is supposed to be. 24 7 attentive to their kids you know in one place at the crib raising the, their children you know what i'm saying so it's like that's that love that she never got and that's why she feels like she deserves this but in all actuality although i don't fuck with the city girls young miami you do not deserve this like no woman deserves to be treated like this and then for her to put the heart emoji is what kills me and even if she wasn't talking about diddy the nigga that she probably is talking about still probably ain't shit either because all she do is date, date ain't shit niggas. Like, that's it. The only person that she spoke highly of was her baby daddy, Jai. I don't know about him. God rest his soul. But all the other niggas she's been with, like, yeah, like, you know, not the best choices. But anywho, y'all, y'all comment down below and tell me what y'all think. We don't know if she's talking about Diddy, so I'm not going to say Diddy. I said if she was talking about Diddy, it's a shame. It's sad. And it's most likely Diddy she's talking about. If she's talking about another dude, that nigga most likely ain't treating her right either. Okay? Because she's not out public with him. So it's like whatever they got going on, it's the same thing as Diddy. Just unclaimed, not public, just really just play, play, kitty, just games. You know what I'm saying? But, um, and, and it's like she got two kids. You have to grow up. You got a daughter. You cannot let your daughter see you acting like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, at some point, as soon as I would have popped my kids out of my belly, even before that, I would have been like, hmm, I need to make some changes. I got issues. I got problems. And some people don't self-reflect to see they got a problem. So she probably thinks this isn't a problem. She thinks this is cute. But it's not. A woman like me who's in tune with herself, who self-reflects, I self-reflect a lot. I think, hmm, I got a problem. Let me go t speak to somebody about this. You know, that's how I think. But women like her, girls like her, they don't even know they have a problem because they're living up the fast life. They don't even have time to park it and just think to themselves, what's going on with Carisha? Is Carisha okay inside? Is, does Carisha have a high self-esteem or a low one? Do I love myself? Like, they don't self-reflect like that. And that's why they don't know they got a problem. This right here is a problem. You feel me? But anywho, y'all. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this. And um, I got to go pee. Bye, y'all.